and Josh. Yeah, neighbors are still wondering why someone would go into that fire station and start shooting. Some of them are worried about their safety as they pay their respects to that fallen firefighter. The flag lowered to half staff and flowers now rest on the ground outside Fire Station 9 in Norwood, a growing memorial for fallen firefighter Jordan Melton, who police say was shot on duty inside the fire station last week. Firefighter Jamal Jones, who was also shot, is still in the hospital. To lower that flag for one of yours is just different. It's a different type of pain. Um, it's, it's just different. It really can't explain it. Uh, but we're going to push through. Neighbors say it's still hard to believe someone would shoot firefighters like this. Curtis Wilkins lives a few houses down from the station. That was hard for me to take. I couldn't believe it. I understand why would somebody come and do anything to anybody that actually out in the public helping. WBRC got this doorbell camera video from a neighbor. You can hear multiple shots. So far, police haven't said much about the case, other than they believe it's a potentially targeted shooting. We looked around and didn't see any cameras on the outside of the fire station that may have captured the shooting on video. BPD tells us they are unable to go into any details about cameras. Wilkins says gun violence is not the answer, especially among young people. Well, they have no names. They get to fly and they go wherever, wherever. What can you say they did to you? To make you want to come in and do something like that. That, no, nah, I, I can't get around that one. So far, no one is in custody. Governor Ivey's office today offering a $10,000 reward for information related to the shooting of those two Birmingham firefighters. It takes the total reward now to $25,000.